Hi, and welcome to this official video from Kinder Carry on how to wear your newborn in an infant kinder pack. The first thing you're going to do is get the carrier ready for the baby. You will need to get the waistband cinched down to the perfect fit for your child. The best way to do this is to scrunch over the fabric of the infant sleeve on the waistband on both sides. Once you feel that the sleeves are scrunched a good amount, go ahead and try to tighten the infant adjuster firmly yet carefully. If you need it more narrow, feel free to continue to scrunch it over even more towards the tacks. Finally, you should be able to get a pretty narrow base on the carrier, which will allow you to have your newborn legs out at 8 pounds and 22 inches. No insert or blanket needed. This is what the carrier should look like when it's ready to be used with your newborn. The first baby in this video is Theo and he is 8 pounds and 22 inches and the kinder pack is cinched all the way. Theo's mom Jessica is going to show us the regular version of putting your baby into a front carry in the infant kinder pack. Theo is waiting next to her so she is getting him now. Now that she has Theo, the first thing she's going to do is place him on her chest in a natural froggy-like position which is automatically what he does. Next, she's going to lift one shoulder strap over her shoulder while continuing to have one hand on baby at all times. The next thing she does is check his foot and leg to make sure it's not scrunched. She then moves the rest of the carrier over his back and then puts the other shoulder strap over her shoulder and of course pulls out his other leg to again make sure it's not caught. At this point, she can go ahead and make final adjustments by fastening the chest clip in the back, making sure the clip is positioned high enough for you to reach, or have someone close by to help. This part does take a little bit of practice. Now she's going to push up gently on his feet and make sure his knees are above his bum in that ergonomic letter M position. The last thing she can do is tighten up the perfect fit adjusters as needed to bring him even closer and provide that close, warm, womb-like experience. And that's it. This is an eight pound, 22 inch baby in an infant kinder pack. Our next baby is Chantel and she is a little bit bigger at 12 pounds and the infant adjuster is cinched halfway. This is Chantel's dad, Jason, and he's going to show us a little bit different way to get the baby into the infant kinder pack. What he likes to do is put the kinder pack on first and get everything fairly adjusted before he puts the baby in. So he's clipping the chest clip, but keeping the straps fairly loose to be able to fit baby. This technique is a great one for tall dads. Now that he has Chantel, you can see him slide her right down into the carrier, and he makes sure that he keeps a good hold on her the entire time, and also makes sure that both of her legs are not squished as he fits her into the kinder pack. Once she's in, he's able to go ahead and start tightening up the shoulder straps underneath his arms for a good fit for him. He does his final checks on her legs as well to make sure that they are both out and not squished. And he too does the gentle push up on her feet to make sure she's in that ergonomic position. Finally, he chooses to go ahead and make use of the perfect fit adjusters to bring her nice and close and snug against his body where she feels safe and sound. And that's it. Thanks for watching this infant kinder pack video. 